Hey everybody and welcome to Mass Effect Follower. So the launch trailer just dropped and we're going to scrutinise every metaphorical inch of it. So let's get right to it. Here's our breakdown of the launch trailer. The trailer kicks off with Papa Ryder giving a snippet of an inspirational speech about discovery over that gorgeous reveal of the Nexus. By the goddess, I can't wait to explore it. Dr. Lexi tells us in what looks like a briefing room of some kind with what is clearly Carlo Jaff, PB, Drac, Liam, Cora and Vetra and not so clearly you can just about see Jarl in the background kind of hiding behind Drac. Maybe he's got a ball of twine stashed back there or something. So it looks like the center of the table has an interface or some sort of Tony Stark style projections that would be really cool if they could be interacted with in cutscenes. Despite us already knowing that a lot of action is going to go down on these golden worlds, the idea of none of them being viable for colonization is something of a revelation. Maybe something is doing this deliberately. I'm guessing it has something to do with the vaults. Now we may be going out on a limb here, but we're guessing that the tower spouting some sort of atmospheric nastiness is a vault. Ooh, maybe it's some kind of world engine? Maybe it's terraforming the planet for a purpose we don't know yet? Maybe all the vaults across Andromeda are linked? So many possibilities. For anyone who's interested in the kick-ass song they played during this trailer, it's called Human by Rag and Bone Man. This isn't a sponsored plug, I just think the song's pretty cool, no matter what your view was on whether it actually suited the trailer. So we're also fascinated by whatever that shield wall thing is that the Tempest is approaching in this shot here. Is this where all the vaults are linked to? So, the kit looks suitably intimidating, but are we the only ones noticing the slight similarities in appearance between the cat and the Angarans? I mean seriously, throw up a picture of the Archon and then Jarl, and the Archon just looks like a corrupted version of the Angarans. Maybe that has something to do with why the Archon is, I presume, hunting these vaults down. Maybe all he wants is a cure for his people. We don't know about you, but that sounds like a compelling villain story to me. Ah, we love this moment of Drac, complimenting Carlo. It's sweet that a Krogan is complimenting a Salarian of all things, regarding the history they had in the Milky Way galaxy. Next you'll be telling me his best pal is Vetra. But seriously though, that would be awesome. From the teeny tiny pieces we've seen of someone interacting with vaults, this shot of Ryder touching the golden glowy interface seems distinctly different to the very neon green vault we saw in the tech demo months ago. Maybe each planet has a specific vault for a specific purpose. And okay, I don't know why that ship is exploding or who it belongs to, but we hope it's an enemy ship so we can punch the air when it happens because that looks badass. If we had to hazard a guess, these greeny yellow pod things look like the inside of the ship we saw blowing up a second ago. Just a hunch, but there's a few design similarities that we can't shake off. But what's the purpose of these pod things? They don't necessarily look like Stacy's pods or something similar. My gut instinct tells me that whatever's inside these pods is still alive, but why keep them in these pods? We can't wait to find out. Meridian is mine. Wait, hold the phone. What the hell is Meridian? Is it a planet, a person, a power source? What? Whatever the Archon is strapped into here reminds me a bit too much of David in the Overlord DLC. Does everyone have the square root of 912.04 on hand just in case? So Femrider yelling that he has access whilst being scanned by the Archon using something has some serious peril to it considering someone seems to be unconscious just behind her, especially coupled with the Archon's declaration of no more mercy. But, but, look at the Archon. Look how little his face looks. From this angle he doesn't really look intimidating. He looks kind of cute like his pop figure, or like a puppy an angry glowing puppy. Okay, maybe he's back to being intimidating again. 
So this shot of the Tempest swooping into the rescue looks incredible. But as we all know, swooping is bad. So maybe we should say the Tempest cruising into the rescue. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Jesus, we've got one of the arcs heading into a planet's surface at speed with one of the arms breaking off. Here's hoping that a story thread that only happens if you do something catastrophically wrong because I don't want to clean that up or explain to Father Ryder how I accidentally lost a quarter of a civilization with something I did. Ooh, space dragon. From this angle, they do look like some sort of mechanical space worms that we saw on Elodin. Maybe they're exclusive to that planet considering we now haven't seen them anywhere that isn't sandy or in a vault. I can't wait to kick this thing's ass. I hope we get back to it as a trophy to take back to our quarters on the Tempest. And finally, we have confirmation about the romance ability status for PB for male rider. And considering that she has an ex-girlfriend, I'd say it's almost as certain that she can also be a romance option for female rider too. And that was the launch trailer. We are less than two weeks away from getting our answers. Just how excited are you? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're new or enjoyed the video. And we'll see you in Andromeda.